In my most recent video, I made an awesome window manager-esque pop-up window with all of the key bindings on my Spectre WM system. I did this by using a bash script and a dedicated terminal emulator and a Spectre WM quirk for that particular terminal emulator. But it dawned on me after I made the video that while I've mentioned quirks in Spectre WM in the past, while showing off most every other feature that this window manager has to offer, I never really explained quirks. And if I'm going to stand by my recommendation of Spectre WM for a first dynamic tiler, I should really show off this feature in this incredible window manager. See how I didn't say awesome right there? So as a Linux user, we all know the first step we should take when we want to learn something new about something on our system. Let's check the man page. So if we pull up a terminal, increase the font size, and let's man vector WM. And we can search in here for quirk. And let's hit next. Let's see, so add a quirk for Windows with class C, instance I, optional, and name in optional, the quirk section below. Let's go down to the quirk section. Vector WM provides quirks which handle windows that must be treated specifically in a tiling window manager, such as some dialogues and full screen apps. So the default quirks are described here. So a Firefox bin is treated with trans SZ. And if you want to know what trans SZ is, Trans SZ adjusts the size of transient windows that are too small for dialog ratio. So you can do that in the config files. The Firefox dialog floats. GIMP floats anywhere. Mplayer floats in full screen and focus previous. So float in full screen and anywhere should be fairly self explanatory, but focus previous on exit force, forces focus to the previous focus application not the previous application in the stack. So that's pretty cool. Open office is set to float. Xterm is set to Xterm underscore font ADJ. So this will actually adjust the fonts when you resize your Xterm windows, which is pretty cool. So if you want to have something float, or let's say you want it to open up on a certain workspace, force a new window to appear on, on workspace in you can use this flag. Or if you want to have a minimal border, or if you want it to float, or if you want it to you know, ignore spawn uh, on workspace. You can set all of these to anything that you want. So let's close out of this. And let's say we wanted to actually have GIMP open up on workspace four. So let's vim.spectrewm.conf and let's search for quirk. And see, we have quirk GIMP colon GIMP equals full screen and workspace four. I've already set this so you can kind of see what the syntax needs to be on, you know, for this command here. But why is this capitalized before the colon and not capitalized after the colon? The easiest way to show this is if I pull up another terminal and then let's open up GIMP. All right, so let's run xprop, pipe through grip, and then let's look up wm underscore class. wm class string gimp, comma, and then gimp with a capital G. From what I have seen, the second one in this list should be the first one over here. And the first one in this list should be the second one here. So let's say if you wanted this one to be a floating window or full screen or whatever, on your WM class string, your second na application name in parentheses should be the first name in your square brackets, then a, followed by a colon, and the first name in the, exp in the WM class string, it should be the second one or after the colon, in the square brackets for your quirk. 
then you can give it whatever flags you want to give it. So in my case, I wanted it to be full screen and show up on Workspace 4. And to have it work properly, Workspace needed to have square brackets following it and the workspace you wanted it to, to spawn on inside those square brackets. Because, let's say I close out of this and full screen plus WS4. And then I'll write mod Q to restart Spectre WM. Total exceptions of one. First inspection, spectrewm.com, slime 193, quirk, invalid quirk, WS4. So if we go back and we add the square brackets back around it, you see it's happy now. So now let's fire up GIMP again. And it should not populate anywhere on this current screen because we're on Workspace 1. But if we go to Workspace 4, we have GIMP. So the other ones that I have for the Firefox dialog box, I really like the fact that this was a floating window instead of it just popping up in a, on a tile. Now, URXVT, this is the one that I set up in the previous video, and I have it to float and focus previous. So when you close out of that, the last window that you had focused will have focus again. And you can do this for just about any kind of application that you want. So let's say you had OBS on your system, and you did XPROP, you know, pipe through grip, WM underscore class, and you clicked in your OBS window. It would pop up that WM class string, OBS, comma, OBS, and... You could do much the same thing as I did with GIMP here and have it be full screen, pop up on a certain window, float, transit, or you can have a minimal border, any, anything like that. So I guess if you read the text below, Spectre WM Quirk's gold or gimmick. It's not a gimmick. Spectre WM Quirk's are pretty great and you can set any kind of behavior that you can think of really for Spectre WM. All you have to do is know how to use XPROP and then put that into your Spectre WM config, reload Spectre WM, and you're ready to go. And it, it's fantastic. I have been very, very pleased with what I've seen so far. And yeah, I just kind of wanted to show that because I've showed most everything else in Spectre WM and I haven't showed anything about quirks. So now I have, I feel better. <laughs> but with all that said, thank you all for watching. Y'all have a nice day. Like, share, and subscribe.